Hello and a very warm welcome to this special edition of Xinhua Life in the 2000 year old Western Han Dynasty tomb in Nanchang City, capital of East China Xiangxi Province. I'm Xinhua correspondent Wang Yihan. The person buried in this tomb is the Haikun Marquis Liu He. Haikun Marquis was a hereditary title of nobility in the Western Han Dynasty. In recent days, Liu He's main tomb has been opened to the public for the first time, and I have invited a colleague to join me on a journey of tomb exploration. Hi, Shu Chao. Hello, Yihan. Oh, I like your dress. It's oh, so beautiful. Thank you. It is actually a dress from Western Han Dynasty,、ah. and I've also prepared one for、wow. you. Do you want to have a try? Sure. Thank you.、Ooh. Let me have a try. Wow! This is the first time I've ever worn a Western Han Chinese dress. How does it look? It looks so good. So,、mm -hmm. do you know why I dress up like this? I guess it has something to do with where we are going today. Yes, that's correct. Today I'm gonna take you to visit the main tomb of Liu He,、oh. who was the first Haikun Marquis. Your outfit is similar to him. Okay, sounds very interesting. I can't wait. So let's go. Let's go. So Shu Chang, have you ever heard Liu He before? Yes, it's said that he was an emperor for only twenty-seven days before he was deposed, leaving him the brand of dissoluteness. Later, he remained a common person for ten years, and then was named Haihun Marquis. Yeah, he was the ninth emperor in the Western Han Dynasty, and it is said that he did one thousand and one hundred twenty-seven follies in these twenty-seven、wow. days, and more than ten thousand precious cultural relics were unearthed from his tomb. And surprisingly, after he was removed from the throne, he was still alive, instead of being killed like many other kings. So maybe he had some experiences that few people know about. Perhaps we can see another side of Liu He beyond the historical records from today's journey. Yes, maybe. Look over there.、Mm -hmm. There are eight tombs, which are said to be Liu He's wife, kids, and concubines. Archaeologists have found that his wife's tomb has been inhabited by tomb raiders. Okay. I also heard that in 2011, tomb raiders had found the location of Liu He's main tomb and made a 14-meter-deep hole. But fortunately, they failed as they were caught by local villagers. Seriousness here,、mm -hmm. but it's cold, to be honest. You know, actually, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Me too, but I will protect you. Shu Chang, come in front of me. Okay. <laughs> so now we have arrived at Liu He's main tomb. Okay. Archaeologists told me that there is usually a strange smell in the tomb, but when this tomb was excavated in 2011, it emitted a faint fragrance. Because the tomb's construction materials are locally grown camphor wood and precious nanmu, which have a natural aroma. I think I smell it. Is、yeah,、it? but it's actually my perfume. Okay. <laughs> so in fact, the fragrance could only be caught when the tomb was just excavated.、Mm -hmm. So now the fragrance has disappeared. So the excavation that started from 2011,、yeah. when I was still in middle school. Yes,、yeah, same here. A long time ago. Yeah. Let's look at this. Liu He's main tomb covers about 400 square meters,、mm -hmm. and it is said to be completely arranged according to his residence during his lifetime.、Oh. To protect the original site, we have to enter through the newly built passage above the tomb, and、okay. we can overlook the entire tomb from a viewing deck.、Mm -hmm. Then let's go upstairs. Okay, let's go.、Mm -hmm. Wow. 
So here is the viewing deck. From uh -huh. there, we can overlook the whole layout of this tomb. Yeah. Ah, oh, so that's it? Yes. I can see it very clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that room is for storing kitchenware. Yes, because we can see a lot of place with different size. Yeah, and this room I think is for musical instruments. Mm -hmm. And that one is for grain. Yeah. And this one is for drinking vessels. Yes, wow. that's fantastic. So to the east is the location of Liu He's main coffin, mm -hmm. while to the west is his reception room. Everything here was built with artifact replicas as it was when the cultural relics were unearthed. Okay. I can see um, there is a coach, mm -hmm. and is that a screen? Yeah, it is a screen, but it's also a mirror. Ah, fantastic. So now we have finished our tomb tour. So, Chu Chang, can you guess how this tomb was built? Well, in such a long time ago, I guess there was no means of transport as convenient as now. So, could it have been built up little by little by labor, just like pyramids in Egypt? Mm -hmm, maybe. So I'll show you a clip that vividly reproduces the entire process of building this tomb. Okay.
it looks like a construction game. Yes. So basically, I guessed right. Yeah, you're so smart. Thank you. So on the white side of Newhurst main tomb is a huge barrel pit for real chariots and horses, which were discovered for the first time in the southern area of the Yangtze River. The archaeologists have discovered five wooden painted chariots, traces of 20 horses, and more than 3,000 exquisite fittings. Hey, I can see you know, the real traces of the horses and chariots in it. Yes, that it's is. It's magnificent. Yeah. So there are also some Anna's the cultural relics collected in the nearby museum. Mm -hmm. So would you also like to take a look? Of course, I'm very interested. So let's go. Let's go. So now we have arrived at the exhibition hall mm -hmm. and uh, she is our guide. Hello! Hello. 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 She told us that a surprisingly huge amount of gold artifacts were unearthed of the tomb. In Liu's tomb, 480 pieces of gold ware were found. This is the largest number of gold ware with the most complete variety unearthed in Han Dynasty archaeology. And the purity of these pieces exceeds 95%. Okay, she said that in the tomb's kitchenware room, we have also seen heating stoves used as sauce dishes for hot pots and also steamers unearthed. All of them were used by Liu He during his lifetime. And it's very interesting that when he ate, he must have someone playing music and ringing bells. Look at this, it's uh, ancient Chinese chime bells unearthed in this tube. Mm -hmm. That also proves that Liu He is actually a sophisticated foodie. Yeah. You know, like now when we eat at a high-end restaurant, there will be someone playing music as well. Yeah, it's the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. She said that in the tube, more than 5,000 bamboo slips were also found. Bamboo slips were a kind of media for writing in ancient China, and these ones buried in the tube were all books Liu He read or collected during his lifetime. Wow! You know, after seeing so many cultural relics, I felt that Liu He's image was enriched. You know, I think. He's just like you and me. Uh, he liked the food, he liked the music, liked the reading. I think I got a clearer perception of him. Yeah, I totally agree. Thank you. Thank Bye bye. bye bye. Unnest cultural relics are original historical materials and are also real memories of historical things. The National Archaeological Site Park of Han Dynasty Hakun Marcus, where Liu He's main tomb is located, has become an internet famous site, receiving over 4 million visitors since its opening. Cultural relics and cultural heritage are non-renewable and irreplaceable resources of civilizations. In China, we see that the government has long been striving to preserve cultural relics and cultural heritage and explore their multiple values. So that's all for today's show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.